We are right in the middle of patio party and pool party season. And what a better way to celebrate around the pool or on your patio than the old fashioned tiki themed Mai Tai. Well, that's what we're gonna make today. And if you've had one, you know it's delicious. And if you've heard of it, you wanna try it. So what you will need to begin with is rum. You'll need a light rum and I'm using Bacardi. You'll need a dark rum and I have a Havana Club. This is a seven year dark rum. But if you want to use a less expensive dark rum, try Cruzan. And it doesn't really make a lot of difference with this cocktail because you're going to mix fruit juices and things like this with it. So you might not want to use your most expensive liquor for this one, but it does make it a tiny bit more tasty. And you'll want to use amaretto, but you can use orgeat. Now that is the original recipe, but many people don't want to bother making it. It's an almond syrup, but you can get amaretto it's very close in taste so try that and finally you will want to use contro contro is an orange liqueur so you will have these on hand and then we're going to add other ingredients to make it a little more tasty and we'll get into that in a moment so you will want to get out your rocks glasses and have some crushed ice handy a shaker and a few other items so then we'll talk about all of the fruit juices and the garnish that you can put in your mai tai because the original Mai Tai only had four ingredients. It had the light rum, the dark rum, the orgette, and the contro, and that was it. And maybe a wheel of lime as a garnish. Now when you think of a Mai Tai, you think of pineapple juice and orange juice and all of those things that go with the type of cocktail that you find, say on vacation in Hawaii. And that is because in 1944, it was determined that Trader Vic's restaurant in California originated this cocktail. It had been in dispute since I think 1933. Someone else said they had created this drink, but as it turned out, their drink was much different. So in 1944, we had this Mai Tai that was created and it made its way to Hawaii. So when all the tourists went to Hawaii and wanted this cocktail, they would go to the Royal Hawaiian Hotel or the Moana Hotel and they would ask for it and of course, being in Hawaii, they're going to add pineapple and other juices, and that's how it became the transitional drink from the original four ingredient drink to a more fruit-like, Hawaiian, tropical, punchy tasting cocktail that we enjoy today. We're gonna to make the tiki theme version of this Mai Tai, and I think it's so fun. So let's get started. We have our shaker. We're going to add ice. And then you want to add crushed ice to your rocks glasses. Now I prefer the soft crushed ice that you get in some restaurants. I don't have the soft crushed ice machine, but it's definitely on my list for my bar area. So in the meantime, we're just using crushed ice. And that's not bad either, believe me, when you try it, you'll be happy either way. We now have the ice in our rocks glasses and our shaker. And we're gonna start with the light rum. You'll need an ounce and a half of light rum for each cocktail. And I always make two cocktails. So it's one for me and one for you. So we're gonna use three ounces of light rum. And I'll put the recipe below so you won't have to keep notes, but you can look in the information box and I will have it there. So there's two ounces. And one ounce, which makes three, of course. Oh. 
three quarters of an ounce for each cocktail of the Contro. So that is one and a half ounces. Let's do one and about a half. Three quarters of an ounce per cocktail of lime juice. I've already measured that and I'm adding that to the shaker. A half an ounce for each cocktail of amaretto, so that would be one ounce. It smells wonderful. Now let's shake. We want to get it nice and cold. The first time I had a Mai Tai was in Hawaii, and I had heard about Mai Tais forever, never ordered one, never even tried to make one, and I tried it. I wish I could remember the name of the restaurant. It was on the beach, and it was just the perfect setting to have a Mai Tai. We're gonna add a splash of pineapple juice. And you can make this as pineapple flavored as you want. I'm gonna say this is about mm, half an ounce. I did not put it in the shaker because I didn't want it to be all muddy. And I have orange juice. I'm gonna put about a half an ounce of orange juice. We're going to stir. And now we're going to float the dark rum on top. We're going to use a half an ounce or about a half an ounce of dark rum floated on the top of our cocktail. It gives it that layered look of the Mai Tai. We'll add a sprig of mint in each cocktail. I'm gonna crush that just a bit so we get extra mint flavor. Smells fantastic. We are going to cut a lime. I'm going to use this as part of the garnish. If there's anything consistent about this other than the rum is a lime wheel as garnish. So you want that for sure. Have that and let's make this even more fun. Let's use fun umbrellas for our Mai Tai. Can't have a Mai Tai without an umbrella. All tropical drinks should be required to have an umbrella. And let's add some pineapple. I have some here. I want to spear this pineapple in a fun way. Let's do it this way. So we have our pineapple under the umbrella where this one doesn't want to stay open. We'll make it stay open. There we go. We got it. 
Wow, how fun is that? Your Mai Tai. You see the layers of the dark rum, the light rum. So the name Mai Tai comes from the Tahitian word that means good or excellent. So let's see how good or excellent this cocktail is. Oh my, you're going to love this. This upcoming summer, this may be your specialty drink. So enjoy. Cheers to you. And I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. So tap that subscribe button and the bell to the right of the subscribe button, tap that too and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And I hope you have a great week. Bye.